Yeah, I just thought I'd do a, a, a video on expeditions. It's pertaining to do with your fall lights. So, I had a truck for over, for over a year now. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why the fall lights wasn't working and everything. I checked the fuses, relays, and everything. Still couldn't get to work and everything. Like, I didn't change the light bulbs and everything because it wasn't top priority. Because, you know, stay in Vegas. I stay in Las Vegas, so it really don't get too foggy. If you don't get, we don't really don't experience fog out here. But I recently been traveling, going through mountains and long distance and everything. I want to be able to see. So, anyway. I just uh, recently found out how to turn on the fall lights. And there's not too many vid videos that that's on YouTube showing how you turn on your fall lights. So, pretty hot today. There's not so many videos to show how you turn your fall lights. Running good, 145,000 miles on it. I'll do for oil change. Last oil change I did was up on 137,000 miles. It ain't really, really been going nowhere. This is all city miles and driving back and forth. But anyway, this is how you turn on your, uh, this is how you turn on your fall lights. Turn the lights on, click it, turn it to like whichever light is setting, and boom, and you pull it back. And you pull it back, and then your fall lights will come on. So, and like I said, ain't too many videos on Facebook showing how you turn on your fall lights. It's not too many videos showing how you turn in your fall lights. And I just happened to stumble across the video because I was looking at a guy said remodification of, it said remodification of fall lights and headlights and how to get them to stay both on at the same time. So, I'm thinking about, you know, you probably have to wire it in some type of way and everything. And I see him pull the switch out. And he demonstrated how you pull the switch out to get them to stay on both at the same time. So, I go look, I go, I uh, get to my trucks, and I do it, and I look, Lord and behold, my fall light's working. I ain't changed the bulbs and everything. I changed the bulbs, I changed the fuses. I changed fuses and everything, even though it wasn't nothing wrong with the fuses, I just don't put new fuses in there. And it still wouldn't come on and stuff. Like I said, I thought I just. We did the, um, the bulbs like two weeks ago. Still didn't come on, so I was just gonna say skip it. And then today I just had me on. Um, yesterday I just happened to find a video, and it comes on. It comes on. So I'm happy about that. Next, I got a. Um, this is a series thing I got hooked up and everything. But next, I gotta find out. All my fuses in here is good. Ain't no fuses messed up. My radio obviously, obviously, my radio obviously do work. You know, put FM on. My radio obviously, obviously do work. But I'm lacking. Oh, your CD player do work in here, but I'm lacking bass back here. And the subwoofer sits. The subwoofer sits in that quarter panel back there. I don't know if the subwoofer went out or if the um, amp went out and everything, but I have no bass in here. And I thought you were supposed to have bass coming out these speakers too, so I'm thinking probably my amp went